Hello everyone! Look who's here for this video. It's my host family's cat. His name is oh not him, it's a she. Her name is Kutan. She's very cute, as you can tell. She doesn't like me very much because I'm really rough with her. But oh she's so cute. Anyways, um December is hands down, it was probably the best month for me um, so far on my exchange um, so many things happened and it was just so amazing and okay so um, recently I started taking um, well Rotary asked me if I wanted to take um, Japanese dance classes um, with next year's exchange student to uh, my area to California and um, I agreed and I said yes I would do it because um, I want to learn some more cultural things about Japan here and I thought it'd be really fun. Um, well, on the first of December, I had um, one of my dance lessons, and it's been going really, really well. Um, it's only like an hour long, but like the sensei makes you put on like your own kimono, and like sometimes, and it's like very specific. And sometimes, you know, me and like next year's exchange student are like constantly looking at each other and and trying to figure out, you know, which piece of the kimono comes next. But you know. And once we can't like figure it out, our sensei like eventually helps us, so it works out well. It's really fun though. Um, I really like it. I'm surprisingly good at it, and the sensei likes me for that. And uh, she's really really cute. Like um, one time she had talked about, cause I had talked about my New Year's, and she had talked about her trip to um, Fuji. Well, it wasn't exactly her trip to Fuji. To Fuji, you see, she showed us pictures of uh, uh, Fuji Mountain. And, um, and, but they were actually taken from, like, her, her TV, and she made it seem like she went there, and then she kept laughing and giggling about it, because, you know, she, because she wanted to mess around, and it was really cute, because, like, we both believed her, because the pictures were so good, but, um, she didn't go see Mount Fuji, but, um, she did go to Kyoto, though, and those pictures are real, they were, um, I'm also, I've also been in Shoto Club, that's calligraphy. Um, I haven't gone to the club yet this, um, start of the new term yet, because uh, I've been really busy and she hasn't had, um, the club yet. Like, I usually go Wednesdays after school and stay there for, like, two hours, even though I have Shoto, um, twice a week. It's really fun, and she keeps telling me how I'm really good at it, and then, and then she tells my senseis, and so they all think I'm really good at it, but, like, okay. Yeah, don't hype me up, okay? You're gonna give me more pressure now. Um, I also went to another area on my island of Shikoku. I went to Kanonji because there's another exchange student over there, and she's really, really nice, and I really like her. And um, we basically had a sleepover. Um, I went over, um, and we went to karaoke with her friends. Since I go to I, since I go to an all girls school, she invited some of her guy friends for me. Um, and it was really, really fun. We, like, really let loose, and, you know, she's been saying how, like, her, her classmates are really, like, reserved, and, you know, it takes time for them to, like, open up, compared to mine, which are just, like, my classmates are just so free, and they're all, they're always, like, constantly hugging me, or, you know, surprise attacking me, and, you know, they're really open, but with her, it's, like, a different story, and, you know, she's trying to get them to open up to her, but, you know, it's a work in progress. Um, but that was really fun. It was super awesome. And then I've also had like a couple of rotary events since I'm sponsored by all seven clubs. I had to go to my own host clubs, um, their own Christmas party. And then I went to my current host dad's, um, club also. And it was really, it was really nice. Like Rotarians can like really get down and like party. And it was really fun. Like the first one I went with like all, um, all members of my family. Um, besides my older host brother who lives in Kanagawa, but, uh, my host sister was there, my host mom, and that was really fun, and, um, then the second one I went to, okay, luckily I didn't have to give any speeches, I, I just had to stand up when they introduced me, so it was all good, and then the second one I went to, it was just me and my host dad, but it was just as fun, because they had, like, a little auction, and, like, it was awesome, I liked it. Uh, I think Kuchan is getting upset, are you upset? It's okay, Kuchan, it's okay. Try to make a video here. It's okay. 
I love this cat so much. I don't think it shares the same sentiments, but it's okay. Okay, and then... Oh, the 10th of December also marked my 100th day actually here in Japan. And Kuchan, can you please lower it over there? It's okay! It's okay, you're cute. Anyways, it was my 100th day here. And I thought it was all... Well, I thought it was awesome, of course. But, um... The, like, the 100 days went by fast. Like, these four months and so far and a half have been going by really fast. And... Yes. I'm gonna be sad when I have to go soon. And it's weird because, you know, I'm going home this year. Come and, and usually people would ask, you know, what's my estimated um, date I'm going back home. And they would, I would say, well, next year, next year. But now, now that it's actually next year, it's kind of, oh, yeah. now it's like, you know, it makes me sad because now I have to say, you know, the month rather than, oh, it's next year. But yeah, that's making me kind of sad, but I'm trying to enjoy it. Anyways, um, before we had a winter vacation, we had the interim test, and that was, I had to take my English test, yeah, and then I had to take my, first time taking my, um, Japanese test so far, and it went really good, like, my, my tutor had given me, like, the, um, the, uh, the study guide, and she just basically copied the test from the study guide, so it was really nice. Oh, and also on one of the days, um, of the Rotary meetings I went to, it was my host sister's birthday. And that was really nice. I gave her a JYJ CD and then a Neo CD because she um because she likes Neo and also because we went to go see JYJ in concert. So I thought that was a nice gift. <laughs> and then what else happened? Um okay, and then the highlight so far my whole exchange thus far. I know I made another video just, you know, completely fangirling about my time in Fukuoka. But um on the 24th of um, December, I went to Fukuoka with my host sister, and we went to go see um, JYJ at the Fukuoka Dome, and that was definitely, like, the highlight, like I said before, and I need to stop saying like because I say way too much, but it was the highlight of my exchange so far, It was, and it was so awesome, like... I don't want to fangirl again because this is supposed to be my month in review video, but come on, I finally got to see JYJ. Yay! And I just love this towel. Keep wearing it around everywhere. My host parents are <laughs> to keep asking me about it, but I love JYJ. And so we saw JYJ it was like the best Christmas present I could ever hope for. It was so awesome. And, um,. Before I had went to Fukuoka with my host sister, uh, my uh, my host family had like this little surprise party for me. Um, the day before we left um, um, for Christmas, and it was really cute. Like they had this little Christmas cake, and then they had presents, and then they had their tree, and it was really nice. And like they had this little sign for me, and you know, one of my presents I got was Toshiki's um, concert um, at the Tokyo Dome. From 2009, their secret code tour, and that was like my ultimate favorite tour that they had as five members. And um, I was just fangirling, and then like that whole night, we just like watched it, me and my host sister, well, until my host sister fell asleep because we had to wake up early the next morning for our flight. And <laughs> it was awesome. It gave me like, hit you right in the feels, but it was fun. Now back to Fugoka because I like Fugoka a lot. Yes, it was mine and my host sister's first time going to Fukuoka. Um, man, there were just so many people there, and then there was such like a long line at the con. Oh, okay, there was not a long line at the concert goods. Like the day before, there was pictures on Twitter saying like of people in line, but we went there, and then the majority of JYJ's goods were sold out, and I was upset. But we went to Fukuoka Tower, and then we went to the mall area because there's a mall right across from the dome. Then we went. And then we ate at Hard Rock Cafe, which also played JYJ's um, Thanksgiving Tokyo Dome concert. And that was pretty swell. And then we lined up, and it was like such an orderly and easy procession to just get into the dome compared to like all the American concerts I went to. And that was nice. <laughs> and like how and our seats really surprised us because we were like close. I was happy. Like that fan club fee really paid off. But, um, and then after the concert, we had Tonkotsu Ramen, which was 
which is very famous in Fukuoka, and it was so good. Like, I, like, every day, like, I keep telling my friends and, like, my family that I want to go back and eat it. Gosh, like, I, I'm, like, really enjoying the food here too much. And then we came back on Christmas Day. Yeah, like, our Christmas was just spent with JYJ, so we didn't really do anything for Christmas Day. Because we had celebrated on the 23rd, and then, oh, JYJ Christmas party, come on. And then... That is pretty much all that happened this month. Like, so much happened, and I just love it. And then, um, okay, even though this is in January, um, our New Year's was like, okay, I, I enjoyed my New Year's, but let's not say like again. Um, it was very anticlimactic, I guess you can say. I'm so used to watching, you um, uh, New Year's Eve and seeing, you know, the um the new year's you know wall drop and it wasn't like that like my host mom had passed out early that day and she was asleep my host dad was on his computer me and my host sister were watching tv then my host brother was just on his computer or something and like i was you know counting down the time so i can you know text my friends and then text my um and, and you know tweet about it but like <laughs> it was very anticlimactic it was like was 12 o'clock and then like oh i said like again and then Nothing really happened. I told my host sister, Happy New Year's! And she was like, Oh, it's New Year's already? And I thought that, and that was like really cute and funny because I'm so used to like, Yeah, it's New Year's! And yeah, it was nice though. Oh, and then I also made a Mexican, um, like I made Mexican dishes for my host family. And um, it was like a little Mexican party on New Year's Day. And I thought that was. I really wanted to, you know, show the Mexican food since it was, like, the first time eating it. Because my first host family, like, my host mom, like, you know, would make, like, guacamole and, you know, like, like um, Mexican food type of stuff. And they really liked it. I was happy by it, by the results, because it's my first time, you know, cooking something like that. And so, yep, and this video is going on longer than I thought. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't mean to go into New Year's, even because it's in January, but I'll talk more about New Year's in my next video since it's going to be about Christmas and New Year's in Japan. Bye!